This video is all about how to optimize your internet adapter settings for gaming and lower ping. Before doing these tweaks, I used to get random lag spikes and unstable ping. But after applying them, my connection became way smoother and my gameplay felt way more responsive. These optimizations work on any PC or laptop, so make sure to watch till the end. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to drop a like so you never miss future gaming optimization guides. So guys, in the first step, we're going to unlock a hidden setting in Windows that can make a noticeable difference in your gaming performance by allowing your system to use more of your actual internet bandwidth. Start by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type gpedit.msc and hit Enter. This launches the Group Policy Editor, a tool that lets you modify advanced Windows network and system configurations. Once it's open, navigate through the following path. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Network, QoS Packet, Scheduler. Now find and double click the option called Limit Reservable Bandwidth. In the new window that appears, switch the setting to Enabled. Under the Bandwidth Limit Percent box, change the default value to zero. This lets your system use 100% of your available bandwidth, which is ideal for gaming, streaming, and overall responsiveness. Click Apply, then OK, and close the Group Policy Editor. Once you restart your PC, this adjustment will take effect. You'll now be utilizing a higher portion of your available internet bandwidth for gaming, downloads, and live streaming. Now guys, it's time to move on to one of the most important parts of this guide. Optimizing your network adapter settings to achieve the lowest ping and the most stable gaming connection possible. To begin, press the Windows key, type Device Manager, and hit Enter. Once the window opens, expand the Network Adapter section and find your active Ethernet adapter. You might see names like Realtek, Intel Killer, or another brand, depending on your hardware. Right-click your active adapter, choose Properties, and then switch to the Power Management tab. Here, you'll likely see a box labeled, Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. While this feature helps conserve energy, it can interfere with network stability and cause ping spikes packet loss or random disconnections. Uncheck this option, then click OK to make sure your Ethernet port stays fully powered while gaming. Now switch to the Advanced tab. This is where the real performance tuning begins. Each adapter may have slightly different options, but the following settings are common and can significantly improve your gaming connection. Disable Adaptive Interframe Spacing and ARP Offload. These features add unnecessary processing and rarely help in gaming scenarios. Turn off Energy Efficient Ethernet and Flow Control. These are designed to save power and manage data flow, but they often increase latency. Set Gigabit Master Slave Mode to Auto Detect. This ensures smooth negotiation between your PC, your router for optimal speeds. Disable interrupt moderation. If you see moderation rate, set it for maximum performance or lowest latency instead of efficiency. Turn off IPv4 and IPv6. Check some offload, jumbo packet, and large. Send offload for both IPv4 and IPv6. While these offloads can reduce CPU load, they often introduce delay in packet handling. Increase receive buffers to the highest possible value, like 1024 or 2048. This helps your system handle more incoming data without dropping packets. Enable packet priority and VLAN to give your gaming traffic higher priority over other data. Set speed and duplex to auto negotiation. If you experience instability, lock it to the highest full duplex option available. Disable TCP and UDP checksum. Offload 
to reduce latency during real-time communication. Once you've made all these changes, click Apply, then OK. Your network adapter might briefly disconnect and reconnect as the settings take effect. After this optimization, you'll notice an immediate improvement. Lower ping, smoother gameplay, fewer lag spikes, and a much more stable online experience in games like Roblox, Fortnite, or Valorant. All right, guys, now let's move on to the next step where we'll be using a lightweight but pro-level utility called DNS Jumper. This tool makes it super easy to find and apply the fastest DNS server for your internet connection, which helps reduce ping, improve response times, and make your online gameplay feel smoother and more stable. You can download DNS Jumper from my official Discord server. The link is in the description. Once you've downloaded and launched the tool, you'll see a clean and simple interface. First, select your active network adapter from the drop-down menu at the top. Then click on Fastest DNS. DNS Jumper will automatically start testing multiple global DNS providers, including options like Google DNS, Cloudflare, and OpenDNS and it will measure which one gives the lowest response time for your location and network. Once the scan is complete, just click Apply Fastest DNS to instantly switch to the best performing server. If you'd rather set one manually, you can also pick Cloudflare 1.1.1.1 or Google DNS 8.8.8.8. Both are reliable and gamer-friendly options. The best part? These changes apply immediately. No restart required. All right, guys, once you've set your fastest DNS server using DNS Jumper, it's time to take things one step further with a powerful optimization tool called Gear Up Booster. This software is specifically designed for gamers, helping to stabilize connections, reduce ping, and eliminate lag by creating an optimized route between your PC and the game servers. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gera Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now guys, let's move on to the next step, which is about optimizing Windows delivery optimization settings. This feature is designed to help Windows download updates faster by allowing your PC to share and receive update files from other devices. Press the Windows key type delivery optimization and open it from the search results. Once the window opens, you'll see an option called allow downloads from other PCs. By default, this is often turned on. Turn this option off completely to prevent your system from using your bandwidth to send or receive updates from other computers on the internet. Now to make sure Windows doesn't hog your connection in the background, Scroll down and click Advanced Options. Here you can limit the bandwidth Windows uses for downloading and uploading updates. Under Download Settings, turn on the option Limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the background and set it to 10% or less. 
under upload settings enable limit how much bandwidth is used for uploading updates and set it to 5%. By optimizing delivery optimization, you're freeing up more bandwidth for your games, reducing ping spikes, and preventing windows from slowing down your internet during matches or live streams. And that's it guys, your network is now fully optimized for smoother gameplay and lower ping. If this helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more gaming optimization guides.